Hi everyone. Well, sorry this is not a survival or outdoor skill video. This is you know, just a leather care video. Because, well, most of you would have probably figured out by now I have a bit of an addiction to crocodile leather. I mean, I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. But, one well, of the problem is, for leather care, no one has been able to give me a straight answer on whether or not Dubbin is safe for crocodile. Yeah, crocodile leather. And I have actually found on the internet Dubbin made from crocodile. I would love to get some of that. I have no idea what possible benefits it could have other than being, well, I think they're kind of boasting the Australian made thing a bit. But yeah, it has crocodile oil in it. That's not what I'm using today, I'm just using normal dubbin from a Mr. Minute. Well, some of you might have seen quite some time ago, I used a leather shampoo on my hat band when I was adding extra teeth to it. And well, I used that same product on my belt. It kind of, almost like it stripped some of the oils out of it. Well, it would seem like that. It, made the colour kind of fade and you know definitely did nothing to really help protect it from the elements so I was thinking man my belt really needs something to protect it I mean this stuff definitely is not cheap it is quite a valuable material so I should be doing something to look after it so I finally bit the bullet and figured, you know what, I may as well just give it a shot. I talked to a couple of people, no one could give me a straight answer if it was safe. And so far I reckon it is safe. I have not had any problems with it. All it is is, what is it, wax and either oil or grease. Now, I do have a proper dubbin a flying brush but I'm n I just don't know where it is at the moment I'll have to find it later but yeah my belt definitely well and truly overdue for a bit of a treatment so yeah I'm just using a normal clean brand new paintbrush just because I can't find my proper proper brush for doing this but it makes it shiny for a while. That does not last. But to be honest, that shampoo stuff stripped a bit of the colour. I have not seen any colour lost from using Dubbin so far. And, you know, I really should have started this when I first. So I really should have started using Dubbin when I first got this belt. Had it for, uh, uh, I don't even know how long I've had it. But, you know, it's really had not had a, it has had a bit of a hard life. I mean, it's <laughs> always in the elements, getting battered, getting rained on, getting dirty. All the bow well. I'm not at this point I'm not too fussed if it gets damaged. I would just make myself a new one. I mean did, I didn't make this one, but I'm definitely not paying for one again. I don't think I've ever seen an Australian saltwater crocodile belt for under two hundred dollars. So once this thing's you know, lived its life and then so once this needs replacing I'm just going to get my elf a nice back strap and make my own
had to do it, but... Mm, hands got me so oily. I probably should have gotten my fire by friction practice out of the way before doing this. Oh well. Hopefully any of these waxes or oils won't. Hopefully I'll be able to keep all the wax and oil off of my bow drill kit. Won't be too big a deal. Oh, just gotta unscrew that and redo it. Wait, why am I even still filming all of this? You probably all lost interest a couple of minutes ago. But <laughs> all I wanted to say is so far I have not had any problems with dubbing on crocodile leather. Although no one has ever told me that it's safe, I'm not seeing any problems so far. And because no one has been able to tell me whether or not it's safe, I just figured I'd put it out there in a video, let people who are interested in leather and crocodile leather that I have had no problems with dubbing on my crocodile leather so far. I can't guarantee you that it won't mess up yours, but it has not damaged mine yet. Alright everyone, see ya.